Hi, this is Javier Encinas. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to design, check, and optimize your calculations in as the foundation. To do that, I'm going to use uh, one of the verification examples in, in, uh, in our website. This example is taken uh, from a textbook, very uh, recognized and well-known. Is uh, Reinforced Concrete Mechanics and Design, 5th edition by Wright and McGregor. This is example 15.4. Uh, it shows a, a, a combined footing. Uh, the example says uh, one column is 24 by 16 inches. The load 200 kips dead, uh, 150 kips live. The other column is 24 by 24 square, and the loads are 300 dead and 225 live. Distance between columns is 20 feet. Allowable soil pressure is 5,000. So basically what it says is, is this. We have two columns and uh, a combined foot in between them. One column, the exterior columns, is uh, uh, just at the, at, at the, at the uh, property line. So the footing cannot extend beyond the, the, the column face. Uh, so this will be taken into account in the program. Uh, the interior column doesn't have any problem, so you can extend the footing beyond the column face if necessary. The loads are here, and the column sizes, distance between columns is 20 feet. So let's open uh, as, the, as the foundation. So basically, uh, the uh, modeling is, is, is here. Uh, uh, in the geometry tab, we, we can model uh, the column the column to column distance, 20 feet, and uh, basically we are assigning some dimensions to the to the footing and, and changing later on what we assume originally. Same thing with the footing uh, thickness, uh, 40 inches. Columns, this information is given by the example, 16 by 24, 24 by 24. Loads, these are the loads that are given by the example. Uh, in, in dead is 200 and 300, and live is 150 and 225. Materials is the concrete and the steel F prime C and F Y for footings and for columns. Reinforcement all the rebars can be model can be modeled here very easily and straightforward for footing and for the columns as well. So let's focus mostly on uh, on the output part of the uh, of the program in this case. So the uh, the modeling is is, uh, is is very easy and and and, and uh, straightforward. Um, we have three ways to see the calculations. One is uh, at a glance, we can see the, the results just uh, uh, just in one one uh, uh, just uh, in one screen without scrolling. Uh, for example, here we can see that the pressure is, is exceeded or is, is very close to the to the limit, five thousand, and also the, we have a problem with the one way shear in the interior column. Uh, is nine nine percent overstress, so we need to take care of that as well. The rest of the parameters or the rest of the checks are, are passing, no problem. Just at a glance, is 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 very well. We go to the condensed uh, condensed tab. We can see the results in in more detail. For example, here we can see the overturning calculations step by step. We know that in this case we don't have a stability problem. So, uh, in the uh, the footing uh, are, are are also designed here, the exterior footing. So now you can see the one-way shear and the and the and the punching shear. The uh, uh, controlling combination is is also shown here. So all the calculations are shown here and can be followed very very closely transverse flexural reverse with a combination that controls also there and the ratio the load transfer for for uh, for the exterior exterior column all the checkings are are here the bearing strength the shear friction of the, of the, the, of the footing. Here is, is check the minimum area of the steel and the development length. So all these checks pass in, the, in this case. The same applies for the interior, interior footing, similar to the exterior. 
So the one way shear, in this case, we already know that it's overstressed by 9%. If we compare 309 versus 283, so it's overstressed, you know, the, the one way and the capacity. The punching shear, you know, the, the checking is, is here, all the parameters. The ratio, the punching is 0 0.41, so it's uh, no problem, it's, it's perfect. This is the combination that is controlling. Excellent. So this is a bending uh, rebars, checking the, the flexural capacity and the development length ratio of the rebars. No problem at all. The load transfer, similar to the exterior. Here are checking the uh, bearing, uh, the bearing uh, pressures and capacities on the columns and the footing. Shear friction and the development length, also the minimum steel. So no problem with that. Sliding, no problem with sliding this in this footing. This is a calculation of the longitudinal reinforcement. We know that uh, for a combined footing, the main longitudinal reinforcement occurs at the top. So this is shown here, the top and the bottom. You know, the acting and the strength. So if we compare that, we are okay. These are the ratios. If we need a more detailed set of calculations, we go to the next tab, which is detail tab. Same thing, but all the calculations are exposed with the formulas, step by step, and also with reference to the to the code. So you can follow everything, every every single calculation here, step by step, with the formulas exposed. Here's the overturning calculations, sliding uplift so the stability checking is done there here one-way shear calculation here is where we saw that we have a problem with the one-way shear we will take care of that in a minute so all the calculations for the one-way shear are shown here with the reference to the ACI code section that applies next is the flexural calculations with a controlling combination you know first and exterior exterior columns all the calculations are set up here including the, the development length calculations as you can see here and checking the minimum so everything passes the same applies to the to the interior column, similar set of calculations. And finally, the longitudinal reinforcement in the X direction, top and bottom. All the calculations are here as well in bending capacity at the top and at the bottom and the ratio, so everything is passing. Next is the punching shear calculations with the controlling combinations. All the calculations are here with a reference to the to the ACI code that apply. And finally, low, low transfer calculations for, for both columns, exterior and interior, bearing, shear friction, and the longitudinal uh, development length. Finally, the column calculations. The program checks the, the capacity of the pedestals or the columns and verifies that complies with, with the load. Graphically, the program generates this, this, uh, these graphs. First, in the bearing tab, you can see the bearing pressures acting on the, on the uh, footing in elevation and in plan view. Here are the shear and the bending diagrams. You know, typical shapes for, for a combined footing. We see the maximum moment negative, of course, 
meaning that the main reinforcement occurs at, at the top, as, as we can see in this view, top reinforcement. And here are the columns design. So the program designs uh, the columns or the pedestal for the, uh, you know, these, these points represent the, act the actual loads. And uh, the interaction diagram is the, the capacity of the column. So in this case, both columns, which are different sections, you know, both pass. So you can see how easy it is to, to check analyze, optimize your design. For example, if, if we want to avoid the problem of the, let's go to the uh, at a glance. Well, first of all, we have here, we have a problem here with uh, bearing capacity. Just a little bit is over, over stress. So let's, uh, let's uh, modify here, for example, instead of five, you know, this occurs at the exterior, meaning that we need to increase the interior a little bit let's put 4.7 maybe yes so that passes already okay so with this little change here we make sure that it passed the, the problem we still have a problem with the one-way shear uh shear problem well we, we have a couple of alternatives we can increase the thickness of the footing and of course that will uh, alleviate a little bit the problem we have now 40 inches thick let's try say it's only it's only nine percent. So let's see, maybe forty two inches instead of forty. Is 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 borderline? It's one, okay. Maybe forty four, maybe. Yeah, ninety two percent. So, oh, so we have here a problem. Yeah, because we increase the. Yeah, we increase the thickness, so the minimum is, is still area. Uh, of the footing suffered because you know more more concrete so we need to increase the reverse as well to do that we go here mm. so this in particular is the uh in in, in the z, z direction <clears throat> okay uh, uh, maybe we can uh, put uh, these are the columns the footing uh, Maybe we can increase the, the number of rebars, maybe seven. 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 Okay, yeah, that, uh, that passed. And we have the same problem here. Yeah, you know, the idea is to change whatever we have to and optimize the design move here move there change a little bit tweak here and there and uh you know get a get an optimum optimum design when we are uh, completely sorry completely satisfied with our design we just proceed to print out uh, this is a preview for the condensed report let's check it out we are generating the uh, condensed report, which is like this. You can print out this, show it uh, to your plan checker. You know, it's a very nice uh, pre-formatted uh, report. The same applies for, for the detailed report. Let's go to print out, or let's go to uh, print preview, the detailed report. Okay. Yeah, nice, nice. We can see all them together. Okay, these are all, all the pages of the report. So very, very well, very well presented. So this uh, basically show you how easy it is to check the calculations, obtain results, and manipulate the input to modify a little bit here and there to uh, optimize the design. If we know that uh, something is a little bit overstressed, so we go back and, 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 and modify whatever we have to to obtain a, an optimum design. It's very easy, very straightforward. This is the idea behind uh, our software uh, as it was conceived with that in mind, to be in control of your design and have all the tools at your hands to modify whatever you have to to obtain an optimum design. 
So thank you very much for your attention and we'll see you in the next video.